there. Tantalizing tater tots smothered in sauce. It's like a circus in my mouth. I love it. Chili that hits you like a meat meteor. It's really hot. Oh yeah. And the best mac and cheese always comes in threes. They're hot, they're bubbly, they're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, plates. Bowls are the serving vessel of the moment in food paradise. It's a bowl of love. Oh, this is my happy plate. <laughs> a bowl of yumminess. Are you kidding me? Prepare to be bowled over. Wow. Hello. It just really hits the spot. I don't know how they get all this flavor into the little bowls. Enjoy some bodacious bowls. May your bowl always be filled to the rim. century, one of the boldest bowls in all of Seattle has been brought to you by the Simanderas family at Mike's Chili Parlor. Nothing is better than a bowl of Mike's Chili and a cold beer on a cold day. Mike and I played softball together, but we came here long before that. It's one of the only places in Seattle to get chili. Mike's Chili's ready. Come and get it. He's referring to Mike Jr. The original Mike migrated from Greece and unveiled the meaty magic in 1922. He passed that on to his son, George, my grandfather, passed it on to my father, Phil, who passed it on to me. We are the longest family-owned restaurant in Seattle. I come to Mike's because he is sexy and I like the chili. I come for the exact same reason. <laughs> Warning, kids, Mike's is for adults only, and so is the name of their specialty dish, the Big <laughs> Bowl of Chili. That bowl represents a legacy that our family has kind of created here. There's no chance of me changing it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Also, my father would probably kill me. The first and final version of their chili starts where any truly flavorful food begins, with meat fat. We're going to put it in here. And we're going to let it sizzle up a little bit. I like to get the big wood paddle out. We've been through a few of them, but we always go with the wood paddle. Mike follows that with a giant bone straight from the front side of a bovine. Water coming in. Put it on hot. It's going to sit there for an hour or so, really get all the juices coming out of that meat bone. Then we're going to drop all the good stuff in it. Bone comes out. Then Mike takes his dose of the good stuff. This is a restaurant but it's also a bar. And so we're gonna start off with a little Greek nectar of the gods right there. Cheers. With Chef Mike fortified with ouzo, he turns his attention to the broth, which gathers its strength from chopped garlic and onions. I mean, every good recipe, in my opinion, starts with garlic and onion. It's the smell, it's the flavor. I mean, people driving by stop. They're like, what is that smell down here? It smells so good. Ratcheting up that aroma, meat. Mike packs in plenty of primo brisket and chuck. And we're going to put it right into the broth here. Break it up a little bit. Got to get the old trusty paddle out to stir this up. I'm using my paddle. We got my father's paddle, my great grandfather's paddle. Everybody gets a paddle. Now the chili's looking great. Got some good meat there. Now we're going to bring in the salt and all the rest of the spices. The magic. What kind of magic are we talking about, Mike? No, let me tell you everything that's in it, all right? Okay, let me not tell you everything that's in it. Trust me, I'm used to it. Whatever it is, the chili really packs a punch. Shake that up a little bit. Gotcha. The spices are going in. It's going to really bring out all the flavors, right? It's a little bit of an art. you got to finesse it a little bit. Unlike its Texas kinfolk, this Seattle chili bowl boasts a bounty of beans. I use the small red beans because they are the highest in fiber, the highest in nutritional value. OK, not really. I use them because that's how what I was told to do, both by my father, my grandfather, and my great-grandfather. Wise men all. Now let those beans make beautiful music with the beef. Chili all over the top of that. A little bit of juice to make it good. Mike tops it off with cheddar, onions, and jalapenos for heat. Opa! There it is, right there, baby. A bowl full of chili is a belly full of joy. Mm. 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 All right, I'm going to make a mess. So I get a little bit of the cheese, a little bit of jalapeno. I like the beans in it. it. makes it feel like a hearty meal. I could probably eat about a third of this and be full, but I'm going to eat the whole thing because it's awesome. Chili heaven. Got a lot of meat. I'm sweating. It's really hot. 
There's so many people trying to do crazy things like make it this, make it that. It's just a great bowl of chili. When it really comes down to it, big ass bowl is the way to go. It's warm, cuddly. Sometimes I do too, but don't tell my wife because I'm gonna diet. Hands down, even the last bite, still the best chili I've ever had. Mike's chili tastes great when it's topping a bowl full of almost anything, but especially noodles. In Mike's chili pasta. At our restaurant, we put it on hamburgers, on fries. If you had cereal in here and you put some chili on it, it would be a killer. Back in Greece, the family's kima or meat sauce would meld with macaroni. Here in Seattle, they play the spaghetti card. They load this thing up perfectly al dente, put a big amount in there. I know what you're thinking. Needs more carbs. Fear not, Mike's on the case. And we always serve it with bread. Why? Because my father doesn't eat pasta without bread. I put love into everything, even my French bread. Then he cheeses up that chili. Boom. Chili pasta bowling you over with chili goodness. Oh, yeah. That's a good. You got the fresh meat. You got the special blend of spices. Incredible. Some of the best chili pasta I've ever had. It's got the perfect seasoning. It's got the perfect taste. It's got the perfect texture. You need the bread for sopping. That's what the bread's for, man. That was awesome. That was a bowl of heaven right there. Nothing beats it, Mike's. Just warms you from the inside out. In soggy Seattle, chili sure beats that chill. Hey, Dad, what do you think of my chili? Your chili's great, but my chili was better. Bowls are made for mixing all kinds of taste sensations. In Cerritos, California,